All right, guys. So, full transparency here. Uh, I needed a video for this week, and I didn't have one. So, I literally just opened up Amazon, buy, 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 and just bought a bunch of random stuff. The first, just was, I was scrolling through my Amazon, like, your recommended page, and just started just, anything that looked halfway uh, interesting, just bought it. So, all that stuff is here, and <laughs> we're going to take a look at some of it. First thing, I saw this <laughs> Stress Buster, and it's a desktop punching ball. It says, having a bad day, great stress relief for the home or office. I could use some stress relief, so this should be perfect. Okay, looks like we got a deflated ball, an inflator, which is nice, and then this. The inflator thing doesn't have a tip. How do you expect me to blow this thing up without a tip? Yeah, right here on the box, it says, pump included, and it shows the little needle thing. Unless I'm missing something here, I'm not missing anything. I see, I really do need a, a stress relief. I don't even think I have one of those needles. Luckily, I was able to find one in one of those uh, tire inflator kits. So let that be known, if you buy this thing to relieve some stress, you're only going to become more stressed whenever you figure out that it doesn't come with the inflator. Don't tell me this thing doesn't take air. Oh. It does, it's just slowly. Maybe that's as far as it goes. It feels like it's got a little extra space, but eh. So I'm no rocket scientist, but I assume you screw this on. And what the, what's up with this base? This is, this is just like rubber. I thought this was gonna be like sticky or something. I don't know if this is supposed to be a suction cup or what. Okay. Mm. That actually, oh, come on. That, that first hit was actually surprising. Okay, that's actually not that bad. So you can get about one hit and relieve your stress before it falls off. So you just put it down. I could be in one of those like slap fighting Okay, fair enough. I think that thing works uh, decently well. I feel like I have alleviated a little bit of stress. So I'm gonna give it five out of 10. You know what, just one more hit. I just, I just wanna see if I hit it as hard as humanly possible, if I can knock it off with just one hit. Stick down to the table. All right. I mean, that's about as hard as I can hit. One more. No, that thing is, at least for the first hit, it's pretty solid. All right guys, so before we go any farther, this video is sponsored by Factor. <laughs> a little warning, if your cooking skills are like mine, this is the one for you. Factory is a food delivery service that delivers fresh, never frozen meals straight to your door. And all of the Factory meals are curated by a team of culinary experts, and they only use the freshest ingredients in all the Factory meals. So the way that the meal plans work is that you can get from between four and 18 meals per week, depending on your specific needs. And you can easily add meals, you can take meals away, you can do whatever you need to to fit your specific needs. And if you need to, you can even skip a week. And now my favorite part, and the part that I love the most about these type of meals, is that they are easy to cook. You just take them, you just take them out of the cardboard sleeve, put them in the microwave for two minutes, and then bam, you're done. Peel the plastic off and eat it. It's simple, it's easy. I love that. And for me, in my everyday life, that is about as good as it gets. Just as anything that I can just walk to the fridge, pull it out, put it in the microwave, it's done. That's, that's absolutely perfect for me, and I'm sure it's perfect for a lot of you. And it doesn't even stop there. You can also amp up your order with things like, with add-ons like proteins, juices, energy bites, desserts, smoothies. They have a nice, I think, strawberry banana and some Tropical fruit, these things are delicious. So if you're interested, you can go to factor75.com and use code TylerTube50 at checkout and you will get 50% off your first Factor box. And all the links will be in the description. This next thing, this is something I actually saw. And if this doesn't work, I'm telling you, I'm gonna be so let down because I've seen these on all kinds of videos. I think they're all fake, but if it's real, I'm gonna be so excited. 
I don't even know what to call it. It's like one of those ball things that you put, it's like a, like a centrifugal uh, motion device where it like slings the ball up. I hope this works so bad. Battery type perpetual motion machine. I don't care if it takes batteries and it's not a true professional perpetual motion device. I just want it to work. That's cool. Oh, it doesn't even take batteries. It's rechargeable. Please let this work. Really? This is so cool. No way. Oh, okay. So I guess you can only do one at a time. So there's obviously a little magnet in there. No. What? How are you not working? Is the battery already dying? I bet the battery's dying. Let me charge this thing. That is so cool. All right, so I am very upset <laughs> because I spent $50 on this thing and you saw it, I took it out of the box, I turned it on, and it was working perfectly. And it was so exciting. And then the battery like died, and then it got to where it couldn't quite get the ball up over here. So it has a USB-C port on the bottom of it. So I put it on the charger. I let it charge for like close to three hours. And now it, it just is broke. It just doesn't work at all. Like I can turn it on. I can put, there's a like a, like a touch button right here. I can push it. I don't know how well you can see it or if you can, but there is a blue, there's a blue light that comes on, indicating that it's on, and then it's just nothing. Absolutely useless. I have no idea, like, what is even going on? Like, why is it, why is it just broken no matter what? I really like, I thought the idea of this thing was so cool, and the fact that it worked right out of the box was so, just, so cool, and then, like, and then, like, all your dreams just get crushed. I don't understand it either. Like why, if you can make something that works, it obviously worked, It we saw it working, why would you make it to where it's like just junk and it has just enough juice to work out of the box and then never work again? Why would you do that? Like you already came this far, just make something that works. So that sucks. So don't buy this thing. I don't know if I told you at the beginning of this video or not, but this stuff is the most random stuff. There's no reason for really any of this. I don't even know why I bought this, but I did. This is supposed to be a floating, it says floating in midair. It's like a, some type of desktop globe thing. I don't even know why I bought because, what am I supposed to do, just see if it floats? User manual, probably don't need that. Oh, look at here. We have a globe of the earth, even though this is a lie because we all know that it's flat. This thing, which I don't know what that is. Okay, all right, here we go. The big moment. Ooh, it changes colors. I assume there's no way to change it. There's no buttons, it's literally just plug it in. Okay, I have read the manual. Groundbreaking stuff here. It said to make sure that the North Pole was to the top. Um, There's two different tops. We'll just go with this one. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. That's it. This is all this thing does? It just sits here and floats. I paid money for this? How much did I pay for this thing? $38 for this thing. $38 for this. Just watch it float. It says, I think that's what this is for, is to like... Oh, I see. So you can just like instantly get it every time? Or not. Maybe not. I mean, what's the point? There's also no way to control it. Okay. Not worth it. The ball can't even, or the globe, can't even, being, can't even handle being thrown on the ground. It's just like broken for no reason. Even though I just threw it on the ground. I want to know what happens whenever you unplug the electricity because I tested it over there and the magnet still sticks even when there's no electricity. So it's gonna happen. How does that work? I thought an electromagnet was supposed to turn on when it has power. 
or turn off when it has when it does and then turn off when it doesn't have power. Somebody who knows science will explain that in the comments. Next up, we have another uh, yeah. <laughs> another magnetic levitation device. This says the ultimate anti-gravity spinning device. Ultimate anti-gravity spinning device. Okay. What are you? I think you go here. Or maybe you go like this. No. This thing doesn't have any batteries or nothing. <laughs> Is this all this does? Is this maybe supposed to be like this? No. No way. Is it really just supposed to do this? Like, the, that's literally what the box shows. Floats in space. Anti-gravity magnets. I don't think that's called anti-gravity. I think that's just called magnets. It looks like it's supposed to be like a top or something. Oh, okay. If you're real gentle, you can spin it. I wonder how much I paid for this. Oh, okay. $7.99. Still too much, but I'm not that upset. So it pushes against that little plate. And that's how it kind of... It's haunted. That's what's loose. It's the magnets. I got you figured out. I know how you work. So it's pushing against that plate and that allows it to levitate. Pretty dumb. Uh, kind of cool. Not worth seven bucks. This next thing, if it works, I think it's actually gonna be really cool. Supposedly, you can put your phone in this thing and it's like amplifies the screen and just like makes it bigger. It says it's your portable home cinema. Now, I don't know about all that. Okay. Am I missing something here? Does this thing not open up like a laptop? No. Apparently not. Oh, I see. Do my eyes look big? Oh, wow. I bet I probably look crazy. Okay, so you're supposed to set it up like this and then put something on it. Let's put on some YouTube videos. All right, guys, so today we're going to be testing out. We're going to turn the sound down because nobody wants to hear that. Let me see first. I get the first view. That's actually kind of cool a little bit. So you can see this is what it looks like normally. And then you can pull this thing up. And then that's what it looks like now. I just realized that you guys can't even see. So you gotta get like, at a very specific angle. I don't know how you can, you can kind of see there. So before, after. The problem is all these like spirals and, and all that stuff kind of makes it very difficult to like watch. I know, I know it's really hard to see on camera, but it's not bad. It sucks because you can't really see it on camera. But if you are like maybe whatever this distance is away, approximately two feet away, it's not that bad. You know what I mean? Like it's not great. There's still some like weird like lighting effects and stuff because it's just a giant magnifying glass. A home cinema. It's definitely not a home cinema at all. Let me see how much I paid for it. That'll tell me if it's if it's worth it or not. Okay, 20 bucks. I think it's worth 20 bucks. If you had like really bad eyesight or something, I'm sure this would probably help a ton. So for 20 bucks, I don't think it's that bad. This next thing, this could be one of the best things I've ever bought, depending on how good it works. This is a, let's see, what's it called? Shia Tazu back and shoulder neck massager with heat. If this thing actually massages good, this could be, this could be amazing. All right, I don't need that. It comes with a, a car plug. That would be nice. Okay, we got that. Am I just supposed to hold this here? And like put it on my neck, I guess. And then that's that, and then it'll, it'll massage me. Oh, this thing is, 
This is nice. This is actually this is actually really nice. And then you can kind of like with the straps, you can kind of control the pressure. And you can really Ooh, it hurts, but it kind of feels good a little bit. It really gets deep in there. Ugh. You can reverse. You can reverse it. So I guess it'll go the other way. Oh, you can make it go slow. You can really like I feel like I could probably just put my arms kind of like this. I feel like I could stand here just like this and just fall asleep. Like this, this actually feels pretty good. This, this is actually really relaxing. Have heat turned on with this? Imagine like laying in a recliner or something. I would fall asleep in two seconds. Showed like wrapping it around your waist, like for your back or something. Oh, that feels good. And you can even like move it to what it, whatever part of your back hurts. I really like this thing. That is, that is something else. That is nice. This thing is a win. How are you, how are you gonna have a zipper but have it inside of like, inside of here where you can't get to it? How does that even work? How are you supposed to unzip it? Let's get these pliers in here. Aha! Gotta be smarter than what you're working with. Let's see what's, see what's going on in here. Huh, okay. So that's pretty basic. These things just rotate. That thing has a lot of torque. Hmm. Oh, I guess the red is the heat. This thing is really cool, and I think this is uh, totally worth it. I really like this. This next thing is an electric blender bottle. So, uh, typically, you know, if you're gonna mix up a drink, the bottles have like these little wire balls in them. You put this, you put whatever you're mixing up in there, and then you just shake it for a while, and then it's mixed. Supposedly, it would be easier because it just has a button, and it just mixes it for you. I tried out a couple different mixer bottles uh, on this channel before, and they were all pretty much crap. We'll see how this one does. If it works good, that'd be great. That should be enough. Let's add two scoops of this. All right, I'm actually gonna be kind of impressed if it'll mix this up. Now, if we push the button one time, it's supposed to mix for 30 seconds. I can hear it struggling. And it's not, uh, uh, I can hear it struggling. Maybe there's not enough water in there. Yeah, that's barely, that's not even mixed. It's, there's still a lot sitting on the top. All right, that's 16 ounces of water. I don't know. I don't even know, I don't even know if it's getting to the top. It's not even blending the whole thing up. That's only two scoops of 16 ounces of water. Guess we'll shake it up just like always. Oh, now it kind of acts like, maybe. <laughs> I mean, this is not even like, I mean, look at this. This is not even that thick. It's like, it's pretty liquidy. This is a, uh, I feel like the viscosity of a typical like shake or something you're gonna mix up. Just like pretty much all of these like bl uh, electronic blender bottle type things like this. I'm sure it'll probably work great for some things. Maybe like just one scoop or maybe like if you're gonna mix say like a pre-workout or something, something that's like a very small amount into it. It'd probably work great for those things. I mean, at that point, why not just, if you're, only mi if you're already mixing up something that's just a small amount, why not just shake it up for like two seconds? I wouldn't recommend this. I think it's just uh, underpowered. Now, if this last item works, it's gonna be a lot of fun, I think. This is a flying ball. And it, apparently it says that uh, it can hover, it can boomerang, and that, well, that's about it. <laughs> that's, that's all it says it can do. Why does it feel like this is used? Oh, we got some stickers. I don't know what this is. Looks like some type of magnetic cap. 
charging cable. I mean, does this go on somewhere? It feels very, <laughs> it feels very cheap. There's an on and an off switch. Well, if the thing will stop spinning. Oh. Oh. I did not expect that thing to take off like that. I was just throwing it up just like, just to see. I didn't know, I did not expect it to just try to take off like that. So I guess when you throw it up, it decides it's one it wants to take off. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> that thing is a little wild. I think I might, I think I might know what's going on here. Oh, there we go, there's the hover. Oh. Oh, look at that. Oh, whoa. <laughs> the thing is pretty cool, but the second that it goes just a little bit off of angle, it just takes off and it's just gone. If you just lean it just a little bit this way, it'll just I didn't mean to activate it. Let's see if we can just hover this thing. No. No. Come on. Behave yourself. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> that thing is a lot of fun. This thing is every bit as cool as I thought it was going to be. And I think that I have to look it up. I think this thing was cheap, like under 10 bucks. That's a lot of fun for very little money. The Tick Duck Flying Ball. I think that that is a winner. That's a lot of fun. So that is all the products that I have. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.